Well, our sleep tight weather view takes us to the North Pole where Santa, his reindeer and elves are getting ready for their busiest day of the year. And as you can see from the screen, this is NORAD and the skies are clear in the North Pole. I think they're ready to go. How about that? Well, we're getting close, but uh, we're going to go through a little bit of wintry weather for our area tomorrow. Uh -oh. So everybody wants to know what to expect and I'm going to break it down for you here right now. Currently, though, we have 37 degrees and clear skies outside here in Quincy. And it was a beautiful day, everybody. We saw lots of sunshine this afternoon. And uh, it is going to be a pretty nice evening out there. A little bit cold, though. Seasonably cold. And we have a northwest breeze at 7 miles an hour. We're expecting more clouds to pour into the area, though, later on tonight. Your weather headlines will speak to the following. You know, we're talking about tomorrow and about the chances for some light snow to track across the tri-states. However, I'm not looking for a big system here. Some of us will see absolutely nothing at all. Others may pick up a dusting to a little bit under one inch of snow. I think this is the key right here. A trace, a dusting of snow is what most folks are going to see. That one inch will be mainly well off into the eastern part of the Bune area, maybe the southeastern part, say from Pittsfield back over towards Rush Rushville and then east of there into central and northern Illinois. The rest of us... We're going to enjoy colder air, gusty northwest winds, and plenty of overcast skies tomorrow. As we head into Christmas Day, it's looking better and better, though. Partly cloudy skies, warmer weather in the 40s with dry weather. Any snow that does fall later on tomorrow should begin to melt away rapidly on Christmas Day with those warm temperatures. Currently, we have 30s and 40s dot in the map tonight here at 6 o'clock, 34 in Macomb, 37 in Quincy, 43 down in Pittsfield with 38 degrees over in Kirksville, Missouri. The winds are light. They're generally out of the west-northwest now, and uh, they're not going to be a big problem for you tonight, but they are going to start to draw in some of this colder air out to the west here. The 30s are going to start to really creep forward across the entire tri-states region. You've got some 40s downstate in Missouri and out into central and northeastern Illinois. Back further east there, you can have some 50s over into the central part of the Ohio River Valley. For now, we're going to watch uh, the chance for some rain and snow to creep eastward as the night moves along. You can already see some rain and snow falling out over Iowa, Nebraska, parts of Kansas in the central plains. That activity will slowly try and move eastward overnight, arriving in our area sometime right before daybreak. The maps go into motion here. A trough falls apart across northern parts of Missouri and Illinois and Iowa. Not a big deal there, but what will be interesting is to watch these bands of snow start to show up and work their way across Missouri and Iowa and Illinois through the course of the day. They're scattered little bursts of snow. Not everybody's going to see them, and they're not going to amount to all that much as you head through much of the day tomorrow into tomorrow evening. So not a lot of travel concerns. Could be some slippery spots with some of the heavier bursts. Otherwise, temperatures in the 30s for lows tonight. And guess what? Tomorrow they go nowhere. We'll stay in the 30s for highs tomorrow as well. Now, as we go through tonight, look for clouds. Maybe a little light rain and light snow mixing together. Late 34 degrees for an overnight low. Tomorrow we'll take it up to 36, but it's going to be a blustery 36. Those winds gusting out of the northwest at 30 miles an hour with some light snow continuing across the area. Your seven-day forecast shows a transition to a very quiet weather pattern. After we get this system out of here tomorrow, we'll see temperatures warming to the 40s for Christmas Day with partly cloudy skies and dry weather conditions. And then from there, we warm it up to near 50 on Friday with partly sunny skies. Sun and clouds Saturday and Sunday. We're back in the 30s, though, and we'll stay in the 30s on into next week. So fortunately, a lot of people are going to be doing traveling tomorrow, and they're not going to have to really worry about a major winter storm in our area. Could be some hit and miss pockets of some heavier snowbursts. That's about it. All right. Let's turn things.